Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a special episode for you and it is about something that is very near and dear to my heart. And I hope that this serves as a bit of a warning for you. It's the top 10 reasons why you should get out and find yourself a Fox Body Mustang now. I've got mine over my shoulder here. So you know that I'm speaking from experience. Get on your classifieds, quit dicking around, find yourself a Fox Body yesterday. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to start off with just a quick little overview here. So Fox Body Mustangs, they were my high school hot rod, right? Um, interestingly enough, I never really personally thought that the Fox Body platform was going to be what it is today. Um, dirty little secret is I almost sold this car for an SN95 back in the day. Glad I didn't. But as of late, these things have just gone nuts. I've got 10 good reasons for you why, but this is just my personal thoughts on it first and foremost. I think that my generation has reached a point in life where they can afford things that they want and they're willing to spend a little bit more money than they normally would for something that they want. Uh, they're doing good in life, their job's secure, things are going well, and they can afford to spend the money on it. So therefore people are fighting tooth and nail to get what they want. And now a real good example of that, and uh, interestingly enough, I don't know the fella personally, but I do know him through various means of social media. Um, so I, I, I know the fella that purchased the world record 1993 Cobra R Bear Jackson. Um, seems like a really good guy. I, I'd love one day to shake his hand, but uh, till then we've got electronic communication. Anyway. I believe the price tag on that car was $132,000. I believe the price tag on that car was $132,000. Now to him, worth every cent. The guy took a lot of heat over it. I feel for him for it. But you know what? Good on him. I think it's great. He has a one of one car that he's always wanted. He fulfilled his dream. He paid a price that he was happy with and he got it. So good on him. Um, anyway, that's my big kind of overview as to why I think these things have gone nuts. But I'll start high at 10 and I'll kind of work my way down to one. And uh, I'll give you the top 10 reasons why you got to get out there and get yourself a fox. All right, start off with reason number 10. Unique styling, unique look. The Fox body is a, you can't really mistake it for any other car out there. From 79 to 93, outside of the earlier four-eyed ones, um, but I mean, if you saw them at night, pretty hard to tell the difference, right? That front end is a bit of a giveaway, but that's about it. Um, the biggest difference, I mean, coupe hatchback, that's it. But at the time, uh, it was a, a European influenced design uh, very cutting edge for the time and people loved it. Now, equally, you've got probably 50% of people that hate it. Still to this day, I mean, there, there's people that the Fox Body Platform absolutely dis are disgusted by. But um, the other side of that is it's fairly easy to change the looks and style this car the way that you want it. Um, I dare you, go on Instagram and look. Mine's a pretty good example of that. Uh, it's a coupe with a ground effects kit, which is big no-no. Um, but there's a long story behind that. I've had it since I was 17 years old. And anyway, body kits were cool back then. But that is reason number 10. Very, very unique styling. All right, so reason number nine. Light, nimble, and fast. Uh, this car, for its era, handled very, very well. Um, still to this day, it handles not bad. There are a myriad of companies out there that can make this car handle 3,000 times better. But at the time, this car was one of the better handling cars on the road. Um, and still to this day, I mean, I, I think it, it holds its own fairly well. Um, fast, right? I mean, this car, now, it's an interesting little dynamic. Uh, 
didn't have the biggest horsepower numbers in the world, but this was a torquey little small block Ford 302 5 liter. And that's what everybody knew them for. I mean, this thing would bake tires. And these Fox bodies probably bake more tires than I would maybe argue any other Mustang out there. Um, they were a quick car. So, light, nimble, fast, great little platform to build whatever kind of sports car you want. All right, so number eight. Uh, this car is a great daily driver. Um, I would say the only knock against daily driving this car is it doesn't have cup holders, right? If you wanna have your morning coffee on the way to work. But for those of you watching this that uh, currently own a Fox body, you know how well the emergency brake handle works for holding the coffee against the passenger seat. But that said, um, there's many, many companies out there that have created uh, remove and replace console sections that have cup holders in them. So good work around there. Um, and yeah, mileage, like, you know, the car gets decent mileage too. City, 14 to 16, highway 28 to 30 in stock format. So very respectable. Um, and I guess at the end of the day, if you're daily driving it, you look cool doing it. All right, guys, number seven. I kind of mentioned this in my opening, but uh, this thing has that 80s, 90s nostalgia that uh, for whatever reason seems to be gaining popularity again. My generation is ultimately a lot of the reason I would say as to why these cars are, are gaining in popularity. Um, it's that kind of 80s, 90s nostalgia. Um, we remember it, we miss it, we loved it. Um, at the time, it's funny, right? We kind of hated it, but now you look back on it as it was a really good time. Nonetheless, um, yeah, this generation of, of people that have found their stride professionally, they're willing to spend money for things that they want. And uh, yeah, here we are cranking up the price of the car that we loved in high school. Coming in at reason number six is the Fox Body Platform interestingly enough, actually saved the Mustang, the brand. Um, so a little bit of a history lesson, but uh, yeah, Mustang sales, previous generation to the Fox body platform, Mustang sales were tanking and Ford was looking at getting rid of the Mustang platform altogether. The Mustang model, I should say. However, there was an outcry from the diehard Mustang fans to Ford. Like I'm talking letters were written and next best thing to protest happened to try to save this, this car or this model. And Ford ultimately decided to keep it. Um, and going back to reason 10, right? They wanted to change it a bunch and do that European flair and, and whatever. But uh, yeah, I mean, ultimately this Fox body platform saved the Mustang brand. Okay, so coming in at reason number five is availability. Now, from 79 to 93, there was something like two and a half or 2.6 million Fox body platformed Mustangs that were built, okay? But the thing you need to keep in mind is they weren't all five liter cars, which are the ones that are, for the most part, very uh, highly sought after. Now, quick side note is the four cylinder and six cylinder cars are actually increasing in price as well. And now not a lot of people are talking about this. And why they're gaining in popularity is because typically they were bought by little old ladies and they were drove to the grocery store. They're low miles, they're rust free. They haven't been ran down a track or beat on, molested, whatever. Guys buy them and are swapping small block Fords into them. Or Coyotes, I mean, again, whole nother topic. But um, yeah, so they are gaining in popularity and price as well. But these five liters specifically, like I'm talking numbers matching, five liter car from the factory, there wasn't a ton of them made in the grand scheme of things in that whole 2.5 or 2.6 million models. Um, and the ones that are clean and un molested and camped in and whatever, right? Ran out to friggin' mud bogs and ran down the track, bent in half, whatever, wrapped around poles. They're getting harder and harder to find. So if you can get your hands on a clean one, one that hasn't been beat up, 
Um, yeah, you got to do it. And I mean, if you do go to do it, you're going to notice that the price of that car is very, very high, or at least it's getting higher by the day. Reason number four is aftermarket availability. Now, the aftermarket has always been very strong for the Fox body platformed cars, but the internet has made it way, way easier to track things down. I mean, I still, to this day, somewhere in my house, I have boxes of old five old mags and muscle Mustangs, fast forwards and all those mags. I subscribe to them all. Um, and this is back in the day when you had to pick up the phone and actually get someone on the other end to order your parts. Now, I would say that uh, availability of parts has, I, I think, this is just my feel, but I think it's grown since then um, with the internet, right? Um, you got companies, CJ Pony Parts, American Muscle, uh, Late Model Resto, right? Just to name three of the, the big ones, but I mean, there is so many of them. Um, and there's, there's companies coming out every day uh, that are making parts for these cars. I mean, BMR, I seen the other day, they're just, they're making a K member for these cars now. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty wild. So anyway, aftermarket support for these cars is very strong. And in a lot of respects, these, um, the three companies I named, they actually got most of their notoriety just by providing uh, people like myself with replacement parts. Um, you can more or less put together a full, well, you can't put together a full Fox body, but you can buy all the bits and pieces if you have a good shell to start with right um door panels and hood levers and headlight you name it right so aftermarket support is very very strong which i think personally uh helps increase the value of these cars okay now reason number three kind of branches off of reason number four but these cars are relatively easy to work on and or modify um you well, I like a good mechanical sense is, is always a great thing to have, but like, you know, if you're willing to take your time and you want to pick up a Haynes manual and, uh, and go through it, uh, you can work on these cars, right? They're, they're not that hard to work on. Um, and with the aftermarket support, um, those companies are great, right? Um, they'll talk to you on the phone. I mean, they're all Mustang enthusiasts. And uh, chances are they got something exactly the same that you're working on or they've worked on one and uh, they can speak from experience. So yeah, they're easy to work on, easy to modify. And uh, like I say in number four there, um, the aftermarket support is very, very, very strong. Okay, so coming in at reason number two is these cars have a ton of street credit whether it's quarter mile, track, um, or just people that recognize them and, and love them and, and uh, want to stop you on the side of the road and talk to you about them, these cars have a ton of street credit, right? Um, most everybody that's out there these days um, that gets out and about and has gets a kick out of cars, they are aware of the Fox Body platform. So, if you have one yourself, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you know someone that does, I'm sure they've told you about this. Like, go out in one of these things and try and get fuel. 9.999 times out of 10, somebody's going to stop and want to talk to you about your car. My wife hates it when we go out in the car. Drives are nuts. I mean, I, I love talking about them, right? So uh, I don't mind it too much unless you're in a hurry. But anyway, um, yeah, they are, uh, they have massive street credit and uh, that does nothing but help increase the value of these cars. Okay, and finally, number one, these cars, I can't even believe I'm about to say this because I never ever thought I would, but they're a good investment. I mean, the whole reason for this video is for me to tell you why you should go out and get one. It's because they're going up in value and if you were ever thinking about getting one, every day you waste you're pretty much missing the boat or you're just going to be paying more. So yeah, uh, you won't hear your uh, elders tell you that a vehicle is a good investment, but these aren't a terrible one. And I mean, for, uh, well, I don't know, not to get into financial situations, but I'm no millionaire. 
So I'm not investing in a Ferrari F40, right? Um, nor did I ever think I was investing in anything when I bought this car either. But dumb luck, I guess you could say, which I, it's about the only luck I seem to have. But uh, yeah, just happened to stumble into something that for all of these reasons, it turns out that uh, it wasn't a terrible investment buying this car all those years ago. So yeah, number one, if you're gonna spend the money on something like this, you're probably not gonna lose any. All right guys, so yeah, in closing, I mean, there's 10, I'll pretty much call it 11 with my intro, right? Good reasons as to why I think you should get out there and buy yourself a Fox body. Um, those of you that own them, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't argue with me. Uh, they're a fun car. Like I mentioned, they're easy to work on. The aftermarket supports there, heck, where else can you say that a car is a decent investment, right? So yeah, for those of you that are sitting on the fence, you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a good reason to uh, explain to the wife why you want to get out there and spend some money. I hope this helps you out. Um, and yeah, as always guys, I always encourage everyone, hit me up in the comments. I love chatting about anything that I do my videos on, but specifically the Fox bodies. Shoot, I'll be up all night talking to you on the comment section there. So hit me up, um, any questions you may have, or heck, if you just wanna chat cars, I'm all ears. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Till next time, take care. <laughs>